So that rider that you see there, it isn't me. It's a legend of the local criterium scene here in Melbourne, Tommy Nankervis. But that footage there, I think I'm gonna watch it a few thousand times between now and the start of the local criterium season because I have a new goal and it's all about positive energy here. I wanna win an A grade criterium before the end of 2018. And I'm gonna start a video series. This is the first video. And essentially, if you wanna see me throw myself under the bus trying to achieve this goal, consider subscribing below. But let me just back up the bus a little bit to explain how this goal came about. So in late 2014, I finally achieved a goal that I'd set out to achieve many years prior, and that is winning a B grade criterium after coming second, third, fourth, and everything else. I finally won one, and I earned the promotion from B grade in the local crits into A grade. Then a week later, I got a massive shock recognizing that B grade to A grade is a massive jump and if I'm to perform in A grade, I really needed to lift my game. Now at Inform, our primary focus was more on the major tours, so Tour of the Southwest, Tour of Bright, for example, so I never really targeted the crits. And it's been a number of years that have passed and all of a sudden, I've just got a burning desire to give the crits a massive crack. So today's video is not me riding a bike, although I'm about to go for a bike ride. I've got my motivation levels up and I'm about to go out for a ride with my favorite side-by-side -side riding partner, Brian Scott. But in this video, I'm gonna share with you a discussion I had with my cycling coach, David Sturt, who's gonna be supporting me and coaching me over the next three to four months. Now, if you don't know much about David, he's got 10 plus years of cycling coaching experience. He's also coached some absolute superstars. Some of those include Thomas Jones, who won the men's under 19 national TT last year and now rides for the AG2R development team. Carter Turnbull's another great example. So he won the under 19 Oceana Road Cycling Championship earlier this year and also came second in the under 19 Road Nationals in January. And masters wise, he's coached some absolute weapons as well at the local scene. Some of those include Darren Lever and Brett Kingston. So the guy knows what he's talking about. In this discussion, we're just keeping it pretty high level. I want to understand from David, does he think I can actually win an A-grade criterion? Because he knows the scene well here. We talk about what I need to start thinking about and doing in order to achieve this goal. And thirdly, we, we sort of run over the different criterion courses. Which one should I target, if any? And we speak about St Kilda, we speak about Glenvale, we speak about Sandown and also the teardrop. The first question is because I could be delusional here. You know the Melbourne Criterium scene very well. You know my strengths as a rider. Do I have a chance of winning an A-grade Criterium if I train hard? That's my very first question. Yeah. This could be a very, very quick discussion <laughs> if you say no. Yeah. Number one, as a rider, are you motivated to do that? Yeah, you've, you've set the goal. 100%. Yeah, so yeah. if you're 100% motivated to win an A grade criterium, you know, if hopefully that, you know, everyone in the start line, if they had that mindset, you'd have some great racing, wouldn't you? Yeah. If everyone went to that, went, had that same mindset as what you're, you've got now, you've got to have the coming in. Well, you've got, yeah, physiology, play, you're talking about club level criteriums. I know that, yeah, it's Glenvale and, or St Kilda or, Q or does wherever that is. Does St count? If I win an A grade at St Kilda, <laughs> does that count? Because it's I know the Corporal Carnegie crew, well, they, they might say yeah. it's only Sandown and Glenvale that counts. Well, maybe. Well, What do you think? It, it just, they, look, they're, they're, you, break, you look at them all, they're all different races. Like I look at St Kilda, it's percentages, you look at you know, how, many, how many sprint finishes are there. Um, St Kilda's easier to sit in the group yeah um Why you're is not that? well it's, it's almost like a track yeah you know you look at that i think the only corner you can almost go through each there's only probably one corner that you you can take it only one line yeah where glenvale you're pretty much there's only maybe two lines where st kilda there's a few different lines you can ride through each corner yeah. the rest of it's just on the wheel um it's faster you got to create more wattage. If, you, if you're going to win from a break, you're not going, potentially going to win from a sprint finish. So you've got to, you've either got to get into a smaller group or solo breakaway. And the solo breakaway doesn't happen very often. So it's going to be from a smaller group. Yeah. Okay. So St Kilda, the stats would be, yeah, it'll be, it'll be tough. It's doable. Like I've seen, yeah, Raf, a few, few riders can pull, pull the moves there. Yeah. 
but you got to p- create some big numbers yeah. to write. You got a full commitment. You got a full commitment. Here. So if there's a group of four, or, four or six, they're fully committed to yeah. riding, and they're big numbers at, yeah. the, at the back end. Yeah. So. So you're more likely to win a, from a breakaway at Sandown or Glenvale. Yeah, Glenvale's more environmental. Yeah. Uh, wind, oh, wind. Yeah. yeah, wind plays a bigger factor, and it's, it's sand always windy though, isn't it? Yeah, sand down, it's but it's sand almost get, yeah. yeah, it's almost sand down's either you got the hill hill at the back, it's either head head tail head tail head yeah. tail. You, it's great there when you get a crosswind. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just like in the gutter. Yeah, both both sides, it's yeah. it's really good. But it's normally uphill uphill crosswind is really good. Actually, the best. When they run the circuit backwards, yeah, yeah, really good. If you get a, if you get the right crosswind, it's yeah, really okay. good. Yeah, the whole dynamics of that race changes when they run it backwards. Yeah, yeah. So I think they should alternate week to week there. But so yeah. you're saying if I've got the right mindset, I can win one basically. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Try and win. You can try and win. Yeah, the, yeah. The, as long as the mindset's there, yeah. you can try and win. Even though the mindset's like you go there week in week out, yeah, like oh, you're treading water. Yeah, you ride the first few crits. And everyone hasn't just done it for so long, unless they've been racing in overseas oh, doesn't or. Doesn't make it a better opportunity though if you're going into those first few races? Oh, like yeah. Raring to go. Yeah, yeah. I'm, fi- um, yeah, raring to go in terms of fitness, fitness, you're about but getting the eye in. Yeah, yeah. In, the, in the corners, you just notice. Yeah, first crit. Yeah, first first ten minutes is like, oh, just takes a bit to get the eye in because where where else do they where else are they doing you know corners every every uh, you know 15 seconds or yeah. whatever yeah so it just takes a bit to get the iron yeah and a bit so, of movement so what am i am i going to be if i'm going to win one if i've got the right mindset mm. what am i, am I going to be working on my strengths or am i going to be working on my weaknesses uh, because my weaknesses is my sprint as you know yeah yeah but you i think you've got a little bit of yeah potential in the sprint so i think it's something you probably haven't trained okay you could train that yeah but certainly your strengths Always focus on, you know, people say, oh, you work on your weaknesses. <laughs> Spend a lot more time working. Yeah, you could work on your sprint, but also work on your your uh, your strengths as well. Yeah, okay. You know, we know that you've got a big motor. Yeah. Um, yeah, so work on that. Yeah, get a, get a bit of a bit of a base going first. And then the old ride that starts out here on a Saturday, yeah. that's always good to get your eye in. <laughs> Just get the yeah, group. Okay. The group dynamics. Yeah. If you want to simulate a race, phew, yeah. nothing better than that Saturday ride. Yeah, okay. Speed, movement, wind, position, just gets that, just gets you that feel. So get me, get me excited. Mm. If it, let's just say we train my strengths. Yeah. What does what does a win look like for me hypothetically? Like what can I visualize? Uh, is it going off the yeah. front with yeah. two to go? Yeah, or yeah. yeah. A small, group. small group. Small group. Yeah. Oh, look, it's just it's all timing. You, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you, you watch Sagan win that stage. I don't know whether you watched stage two. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's all timing. Yeah. He won it. He won it up slightly uphill, two percent. He just stepped out at the right time. Yeah, and it's just it's just about where you know. Probably the scenario for you would be winning out of a small group, and it depends on how deep you've gone in that small group as well. Yeah. They might tear the legs off. And I remember a few years ago you were in a. Decent break with a few good guys. Oh, you were in as well, that one? Or? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't want to. I was just, in one with you yeah. when I was with my... But I, I remember not being... Like, I was reasonably fit. Yeah. I was usually fit. Yeah. And I just didn't have the... Yeah. So I get the, that's the question I have. It's like, yeah. if that is the case, and you've yeah. really got to train yourself to be able to go yeah. deep after yeah. an hour of already going deep. Yeah. So like, what yeah, are, but everyone... You've got to understand that everyone else is at that level. Yeah. Yeah, exposing yourself to that work. And I think... What, back then you're exposed to that work and then yeah. you got to that position it's just like well yeah how, how do you manage that and understand that yeah, so okay. that's what we yeah we'd work we work on that but i you can see maybe look it's I, I, it's, that's that's the beauty of racing yeah <laughs> crits and yes you know the uh, every race is different the, the finish not always a lot of them do come down to the sprint finish yeah and you know Tommy's great, at, great at those sprint finishes, but also Tiggs is leading him out. Yeah. It's like he's unbelievable at it. You yeah. know, like he just, you know, he's going full flight. You know, you just talk about the speeds in the last corner, and you know, no one's getting around him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like they're they're hitting him at 60k an hour into the last corner. Yeah. With 
Tiggs is pulling him through the last corner. Who's going to get around him? You, 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 so, well, no chance. That's yeah. Why I, I so was, yeah. you could follow that wheel. Yeah. I don't think you're going to get around it. No. But you could try. It's not saying you can't. It could be a feat just to follow yeah. the wheel. Yeah. So you follow the wheel. <laughs> I look at, in all the, in all the scenarios of crits, Q, in terms of small groups coming to the finish, Q's the one. Right. Uphill. So you could actually train yourself to, you know, to, to go well at Q. Right. Yeah. Doesn't have the big fanfare of Glenvale yeah, or yeah. St Kilda, but yes. <laughs> it's a bloody good race. Yeah, okay. Oh, and, not too heavy enough to really be. Ah, mate. No. I've seen your lean. Okay, right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Oh, right. Are you going back there or not? Yeah, I'm going yeah. back there. Yeah, Hopefully shit. leaner. The shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's working. Yeah. No one, no, there's no free ride there. No. St Kilda, no. they're handing out tickets. Yeah, exactly. you know, it's like finished A grade. Yeah, it's not not bag in St Kilda. Yeah, the great, great, great criterium circuit, but just different. That's that's the beauty of it all. They're yeah. they're all different. Does one suit me better out of all of those? Like if you look at my skills, yeah. You, is is well, it better to target one or just do them all? Like, well, you target. Well, you, you're saying that you want a Glenvale. Is a bit. Is there a bit well, more kudos at Glenvale? I feel like there might there may be years. Yeah, yeah. Or at or at Sandown. You know, yeah. the, the traditional Caulfield yeah. kind of e-crits. Yeah. I feel like there is. But I don't I don't know. Yeah. I mean I'm, I'm gonna I'm meeting Tommy. I'm gonna yeah. ask him this question. Yeah. Oh, I think I know what answer I'm gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well actually they're all hard. The, the, yeah. It's hard to win the St Kilda. Because yeah. how are you gonna win St Kilda when they it's it's gonna be a bunch you know, ninety percent of them a bunch of kicks. Yeah. yeah. So it's like True. shit, that's hard. Yeah. And it's hard to get in a breakaway. Yeah. Because the workload is massive. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's bigger. You got full commitment. Uh, Not that you got full commitment at Glenvale as well. Everyone, yeah. you got full commitment, but yeah, it's just you got to run. Yeah, it's just it's just so fast. So I suppose they can pull it back quicker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, they can start smoking. You know, at, at St Kilda and pull you back in two laps. Yeah. If they if they, they decide we're going to pull this thing back together. Yeah. If it's not, if it hasn't blown out, they can pull it back pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you can have, I suppose the legs are fresher in the group. Yeah. You can get fresh legs in the group. The first four weeks, you just look at what your volume you're doing at the moment and you just, you'd start to build the volume up. Yeah. And then you might throw in the occasional, you know, hell dog. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but for the, for the first four weeks, you do that and we'll just see where you're at. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to put some decent, Hardcore ties on as well. So why, why do I need to do well, that? Well, create a bit of resistance. Yeah, okay. So we don't you're, any... you're, you're a big believer in that. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Why is that? Well, every minute we're all time poor. Yeah. You know, you've got kids, wife, and, yeah. you know, every, I don't know, so sort of how many hours are you going to contribute to this? Well, how many, think, how many do you think I need to? Oh, I'll look at least... 10? Yeah, 10 or 12. 10 to 12. Yeah, 10 yeah. to 12. You want to do the 10 or 12. That's what it creates. Next yeah. year, if you get, get used to every pedal straight with these heavier wheels and heavier tyres on, yeah. come race day, whew, you're already up and about. Yeah. You're, you know, you're talking, yeah, it's more than 15, 10, 15 watts. It's a bit of a mental thing yeah, as it's well. It's a percentage, it? but yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can just feel the bike under you. It's actually a bit, moves a bit, a bit better and a bit faster. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it does make a difference. But you break it all down, you've either got to, you've got to win the bunch sprint, you've got to be fit enough to get into a breakaway, and ride with them. Once you're in the breakaway, do you have something to step off the front, off yeah. the brake? And that the dynamics, it just, it, it's just something just happens. One guy goes, one, the next rider decides not to chase. Next thing you know, it's like they look at each other for five seconds, you're up the road, yeah. and that's, she's done. You've got to enjoy the process. This whole thing, in your own mind, you think, you're motivated to do this, Let's make this enjoyable as possible. Yeah, yeah. Because you want to enjoy it, you know. So that was my chat with David. As you saw, we, it's pretty casual. We kept it high level, but it was really just setting a foundation of what I need to be thinking about and doing at this point in time in order to really hit the start of the crit season, raring to go. We're going to go a lot deeper as we go along on this journey, but this is just really setting the foundations. Next up in this series of videos, I'm going to have a chat with a local Criterium legend, Tommy Nankervis, to find out from him what he thinks I need to be doing and thinking about if I'm gonna achieve this goal. Thanks so much for listening and I'll catch you in the next video.